Hi everyone, Christine McKee here from the Emerging Technology Team and I'm here to provide students and parents with an overview of Microsoft Teams. So here I am inside a team in Microsoft Teams online as a student and if I wanted to go back and view all the teams that I'm a member of, I would simply come up to the top left here and click All Teams. Now I can see the individual tiles for each team that I'm a student in. If my teacher has created a brand new class team and has shared a secure join code with me, I would also come here to click on the Join or Create Team button up here in the top right to then enter that secure join code to join the team as a student. Let's go back and open up one of our class teams. Class teams are organized by what are called channels and tabs. Channels appear here along the left underneath the name of the team. Inside each channel, you will see tabs to different sections along the top. Inside the general channel where we will do most of our work, we can see the following tabs, the post tab, files tab, a tab for the class notebook, assignments, and grades. Here inside the post tab of the general channel, I can see that my teacher, if I scroll up, has posted announcements for the class. As well, I can see any comments or questions that have been posted by my classmates. I can see assignments that were posted uh, previously. As well, if my teacher has been using Teams meetings in order to video conference with the class, I can see the links to those Teams meetings and if I were to click on an active link, I'd be able to join the meeting. As a student, I can add a comment or post a question to the stream here inside the post tab by simply coming down to the very bottom of the screen and typing a message in the new text message box. Once I've typed a message, I can always enhance my comment by adding an emoji, an animated GIF, or even a sticker. I can also attach files to share with my classmates and we can work together on them. This is ideal if I'm working with a group of students on a project or an assignment. Notice that I can simply click on the paper clip and I can choose from uh, recent files. I can browse other Teams files tabs. I can upload content from my OneDrive or even from my device. So if I click on recent, let's just grab this graphic organizer here. I'm going to click upload a copy and choose where that gets uploaded to. We'll give it a minute to load. And then once it is ready, I just click the paper airplane icon here to send this post to the stream. Next, let's take a look inside the files tab of the general channel. So I'll just click on files up here at the top. And here inside the files tab, I can see the class materials folder where my teacher may have posted important notes or activities or graphic organizers that my classmates and I can view. All of the other files that have been shared here by either my teacher or my classmates can be edited by um, my classmates and I. Notice that as a student, I can also create new content inside of the Teams Files tab. So I can add new folders, add new Word documents and PowerPoint presentations. I can even upload files and folders from my device. Keeping in mind that the Files tab is meant to be a space where my classmates, my teacher and I can store files or documents that we want to collaborate on. The Files tab is not meant to be a space where students share or post their assignments. Instead, to view and complete any assignments assigned in the class teams, students will click on the Assignments tab inside the general channel. 
Here they will be able to see all the work that has been assigned to them in order of due date. They will see any outstanding assignments or late assignments as well. They will also be able to view completed assignments along with any feedback or marks that they have received in Teams. To view inside an assignment as well as to work on that assignment, a student just simply clicks on the assigned task. Here inside the assignment, student can see all the details, including the title, the due date, instructions, a point value if a point value has been assigned, if a rubric was being used to score the assignment, the attached rubric link would be here. As well, the student will be able to see any resources or work that the teacher has attached for them. So for instance, in this particular assignment, the teacher has attached a set of review notes for the student to view and has provided each student with a copy of the review questions to edit and complete using Microsoft Word Online. Notice that below any attached work, the student will also see a link to add any work. When they click that link, they can then upload any content that they have saved in their OneDrive, create a new file such as a Word document, PowerPoint, or even an Excel spreadsheet, or share a link to work that they've created online or upload from their device. Inside every assignment description in a class team, students also have access to Microsoft's powerful learning tool, Immersive Reader. That's this little icon here next to the Turn In button. When students click that, they can receive assistance digitally for reading and comprehending assignment details and instructions. They just simply come down to the bottom here and press play to have this information read out loud to them. There are other options built into Immersive Reader, including a translate tool built in to reading preferences. Let's go back to the assignment details. To turn in an assignment, a student just simply clicks on the turn in button and they are usually rewarded with a turn in celebration.